We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2020 American League All-Star. Briefly now, we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. And here's Christian Yelich now. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that swung on and missed for strike one. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Game time temperature here in even 60 degrees. To two balls and two strikes now. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Here's Javier Baez. First pitch of the at bat. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Here's Verlander now on 0 and 2. Weak grounder down the line at third. Throw on to first, and Verlander's got it going here, two away. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matty, we know this is a pitcher's park. The numbers bear it out. Look for the managers to play a part in this one. Hopefully the guys listened in the hitters meeting. They're going to stay up the middle, big part of the yard. But when they get on, look for some wheels in motion, some execution, trying to manufacture some runs. I think that's how this lineup will play it out. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly stick. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Springer looking up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly. Just like that, they take the lead. So here's Cody Bellinger. A ball of no strikes. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. That's lifted the other way out to left. And Springer will tuck this one in to retire the side. But they're off to a good start as they... So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the American League. The right and the pitch. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And that one is gone. Not a great way to start on the road as a pitcher. Give up a bomb to the leadoff hitter. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Out of play, off to the right. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. Pitch popped up. Freeman is there for it. One down.
Yeah, and with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Mark, what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight? Well, Matt, this goes for both lineups. They know they're dealing with a tough test in a pitcher's park, but they can't let that bother them too bad. Or they'll walk out of here three, four game set, 0 for 12, 0 for 15. They have to find a way to stay within themselves, line drive approach. One will carry out of here if they get it. 2 0 now. Now here's the pitch. Rip down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. One out, nobody on. Line toward right center, and Trout has himself a base hit. Boy, that wasn't a very good pitch there. Up and away, that breaking ball deal well, that slider intended to be down and away. Instead, it was up and away. Yeah, that was definitely a missed spot right there, Dan. You saw the batter's eyes light up, and he didn't miss it. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. In previous duels with the Grom, not great, and he's one for eight. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Trout stands at first with one out. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Here's a look over to first. And late reactions, and they got him. Hey, a good right-handed pickoff move is really all about the footwork, and that was nice. He got his feet all the way around the first, which allowed his hips and everything else to clear for an accurate throw to the inside of the bag. That, and it was real quick, too. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. And it's fouled away. a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Francisco Lindor would be next if they can keep this inning alive. On the screws to shortstop but caught to retire the side. But a run scores in the inning and that'll have to be good enough as this. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. They'll get us started in the top of the second. The third baseman. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1 and 0. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. Fastball called strike 3 and there's the first out of the inning. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Hit on the ground out to short. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. Love the ability to push that ball the other way right there. Nice knock to the opposite field. That's a switch hitter's delight. The ability to use all parts. Fastball here as they'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. A strike to Contreras and it's one and one. Fouled off. The one two. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. Springer is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Digging in, Patel Marte. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Springer has a read on it, and the inning is over. One hit, one left. So stepping in, Francisco Lindor. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. Fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh. 
Ball at the side. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. The third baseman. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Marte for one. Now over to Freddie, and it's a double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And now it'll be the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Gary. First offering on its way. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. A ball and two strikes. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. AL down quietly. Through two, we're tied one apiece. Now the pitch. And there's a fastball from Verlander to jump ahead, 0 and 1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now back, left fielder. In is Christian Yelich. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Nope, at the ball. Ball one, no strike. Bases are empty, one man out. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Yelich is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods. But I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. And Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. One. Here's George Springer as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. American League. No left fielder. First pitch George. of the at-bat on its way. Springer. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Bellinger is back, and he reaches up to put it away for a long out number one. So the base is empty here with one away, and that will bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Hit out towards second. Marte fields it cleanly. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now that Coming to the plate now, Mookie Betts. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And that last at that when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So 
I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. One ball, one strike to count. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Here's Verlander now on 0-2. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Stepping into the box, Nolan Arenado. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Line towards center field. Trout will get there and he puts it away to. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two is taken for ball two. Grounded to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up Mike Trout. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Slow roller left side. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now batting. The first base Here's Carlos Santana now. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. There's Baez. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. American League. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Josh Bell. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. One out. So one away here with the bases empty. And stepping up to hit next, the catcher Wilson Contreras. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1 0. Oh. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. 
really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. The one-two. Ball well, that's out. One run, two hits, and no errors on the NL line score thus far. High in the air out to center field. Under it is trapped, and there are two gone now. The batter, number four. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Well, this thing stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park is no bandbox. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit it halfway up the wall for a long double. And that's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw home. But this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint, d -Roy. You get the first two out of the inning. The next guy doubles, and then you give up a two-out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, you want to talk about on the complete flip side, firing up an offense. You see your two boys go down, two quick outs. You mix in a gapper right there. Double finds himself on second. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Acuna stands at second with two gone. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. One and two, here it is. Ball two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Throw in time, and the side is retired. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Leading off for the American League. First pitch the of the at bat on its way. Francisco. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. 1 one and 1. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it is an out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And the AL gets a man in scoring position. It's a leadoff double. Third baseman number two. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of role they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. So striding forward now, Gary Sanchez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pitch swung on and hit on the ground for Freeman over there at first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now with the plate, George Springer, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. And that brings up Javi Baez. A role this Chapman is called upon, and it's not for his usual role. Just hoping to keep the deficit at one here. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. That's 1-0. Oh. 
high and deep to right center. On the move is Trout. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. The first baseman, number five. Freddie Freeman Freddie. will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. A ball and a strike. Lifetime line against Chapman. He's just two for nine. And this will be fouled away. Try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Now batting, Cody Bellinger. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Strike one to start the at bat. A one pitch on its way. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with all speed. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Leading off for the American League. First Number pitch of the at bat on its way. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Acuna is there, and he has it for the first out. Now that. So right striding field. in, Mookie oh, Betts. Geez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Acuna is there, two gone. Up next for the American League. Into the box, DJ LeMay DJ. here. He's hitless in his two oh, at bats so you. far. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and That evens it up, 1-1. One and one. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. Acuna is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. The National League used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Jacob deGrom is credited with the win. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.